<coughs> Testing. <coughs> hey. What's going on, everyone? It's your boy Uj, and of course, we are back again. Once again. How y'all doing today? All right, so as promised, or as I mentioned, I really promised, but I did say that I would be doing this follow-up because the Dragon Ball Super Chapter 84 preview images have been up, so I knew that there were going to be translations to follow. So here we are. We finally have the time to take a look at these translations and give you guys my furthering thoughts. So let's get right into it. All right, so the ones we're going to be referencing are Herms. His is a little bit more direct. It's not like actual uh translated uh english on the on the images those you could actually find off of dbs chronicles chronicles of course did their own translations but we're gonna look at you looking at herms um, just because herms has more experience and whatnot but not to say that chronicles is wrong or anything like that but do check out both just so that you can see that they both line up anyway but i just wanted to go over Herms. so here we go so pretty much the voice recording was has reached the end Manito explains that bardock left the planet as soon as he could move again but left his scouter behind um and this all seems to trigger some memories of goku so if we're looking at um images like this right here we can tell from this shot bardock literally looked like he just landed right back home around the time that goku was looking like in like the incubator john or whatever you can tell he was all battle fatigue gine's over here and everything then next up goku tells vegeta he finally understands saiyan pride or maybe not when he remembered Bardock's face, he also remembered how he lacked faith in his own power. Vegeta says that he too had lost sight. What they need to carry with them isn't the Saiyan sins, but their pride. Of course, in this image over here. And then Vegeta goes on to say he hates having Goku's dad be the one to remind him of this. Though also, he doesn't think it's fair how Kid Goku and Raditz survived thanks to the Dragon Balls. But Goku says that there's no complaining to him about that um, because, oh, and I do remember this, and it's actually going to probably lead into this next tweet. In other words, it seems Bardock's wish via Manito did indeed go through. Vegeta thinks Goku's been spoiled on account of the wish, but Goku points out that Vegeta spoils Bra. Vegeta says that's totally different though. So a little bit of, uh, of comedy in this part right here. And then Manito is touched to see that Bardock's will has been passed on like this. A racist pride isn't for the sake of revenge, but rather about accepting one's true self. It's the same no matter what race, and I totally agree with that. And now for this one, uh, this page, Manito offers to heal Goku and Vegeta before Gas arrives. But first, their clothes. Manito gives them uh, old school Saiyan armor, but Goku wants his old clothes back. Manito's surprised he doesn't want to dress like his dad. Even Vegeta doesn't want his jacket, chest armor, um, which is uh, kind of, you can tell by his face. I did say this in the last video. And then lastly, meanwhile, Gas has found them and that's it finally. So then um, another note, the title in Japanese is this. Can't read it, obviously. No, no shit. Uh, Pride of the race, but the English website uses Pride of the Warrior race, adding the word warrior which makes sense in regards to the Saiyans, though Manito talks about races in general. Other than that, so yeah, Vegeta mentions Bardock's wish for his sons to grow up healthy slash well, as well as seen last time in chapter 83. He thinks this wish is the reason why Goku and Raditz survived as kids, i.e. survived planet Vegeta's destruction and calls him spoiled. So for those that are literally still wondering if this actually was the wish, this preview page confirms that this wish definitely was the freaking wish, okay? There is no if, ands, or buts. There's no speculation. There's no more rumors. There's no more theories. It's done. This is what happened, and this is how we're going forward. Anyway, continuing. So to recap, a long, tedious prior thread, Viz worded Bardock's wish as to have his sons end up thriving, which many took to mean Goku plus Raditz were blessed for life. But the idea is merely that they grow up fine, i.e. successful to successfully reach adulthood which is exactly what that meant so vegeta attributes goku's survival as a child to the wish but so far at least 
There's no talk about this wish still being in effect or having influenced Goku's adult life. And Raditz's death as an adult doesn't contradict it either. And as a, a disclaimer at the end, Herms even points out, I'm not saying anyone has to like this wish, of course. I just think it's helpful to keep straight what it does and doesn't entail. And that's exactly that. So with all those uh, bits of translation uh, in mind and with everything that we now know that is definite, that is concrete, this is how it's going. This is going how where it's going to go. I will now say that uh, I do appreciate the dialogue between Goku and Vegeta, but my thing right now that I'm currently stuck on is really just the idea of why or how does this really make that much of a difference for Goku essentially to help him inevitably attain ultra instinct okay like the mastered version because he's been struggling with allowing his body to just move freely why or how does this new gained thought process of feeling of accepting himself as a saiyan how does that play a part into just allowing his body to move freely so that way he can truly master mastered ultra instinct okay because this is something that i'm sure and i'm hoping a lot of other people are wondering as well because i think with vegeta if we look at vegeta and he's talking about how he's always had the, the sins of the saints he feels guilty for those things and that's i guess normal but at some point and this was also brought to my attention recently in my own discord that hey like beerus literally told him straight up like you gotta let that shit go because if you are gonna straight up just constantly have that in the back of your mind you're never truly going to grow as a person you're never going to move past it and the rest that comes along with that kind of stuff and that's very true and i think that for vegeta in this particular si uh, situation to be reminded through goku's dad right and that he could be a little salty because it wasn't his own father or something like that but through kakarot's dad that he needs to just really be all about his saiyan pride and let the past be the past and continue on with that prideful essence that is literally known for you know that that their race is known for i think that that in itself makes more sense for this to help vegeta but it's not really it was never really implied that he does need help to really fully attain this mastered ultra ego or even if that's even gonna be what it's called because i know a lot of people are also in beliefs that vegeta will also have some sort of secondary like you know like a true form of what his mastered ultra ego would be don't know if it's gonna call, be called mastered ultra ego like ultra mastered ultra ego or something like that though you know however way they decide to go about it that kind of lines up and would make a little bit more sense for vegeta's sake as far as goku goes I don't know i think that it's you know it's kind of it is what it is but you know we we're literally going off of translated rough sketches of the first like few pages of the next chapter so we're gonna know fully exactly obviously when that chapter does come out in just a few short days but those are all my um initial thoughts to the actual dialogue like i said i did appreciate the dialogue for what it was i definitely do love the conversations back and forth between goku vegeta and manaito in this situation and obviously we do see gas literally on their way he found them so we can expect for chapter 84 to be a little bit more of a conversational kind of thing and we can expect for gas to basically re-enter the fight they're all gonna start fighting manaito already said that he's gonna heal them which is nice to know that manaito can apparently just heal them now um and i'd expect by the end of chapter 84 for uh granola to wake up because we did see a shot of granola kind of resting i feel like he's gonna step in or maybe he won't step in until chapter 85 i don't know the one thing i am actually curious to to know is if they're only going to be in the saiyan armor the classic old school saiyan armor with the shoulder pieces are they gonna stick with those on for the duration of the fight or are they gonna actually make they're gonna request for manaito to just change them back into their original clothes that would actually make more sense but it would be even funnier if manaito straight up was like you know i can only do this like once i don't know that'd be really stupid but whatever like share subscribe guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves may the power protect you keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay sound see you guys next time